All right, guys. If you guys don't know the news, Trump has actually said he's going to turn himself in. And uh, we got some breaking news that he is going to reveal when he's going to turn himself in. Actually, no. Sorry. A little bit sleepy here. My last video of the day. He reveals he's going to turn himself in. So let's watch the news report and see if the, we can get any more info here. All eyes are on Fulton County tonight where former President Donald was posting on his, like, uh, his media platform, which is like a kind of like Facebook mixed with Twitter, uh, something like that, guys. Donald Trump and 18 of his co-defendants indicted in the 2020 Georgia election probe. Yeah, typical Trump uh, post, you know, pretty long. And, uh, yeah, got, like, you know, caps lock into certain places. You know, quotations, stuff like that. Will soon turn themselves in at the Rice Street Jail. All 19 defendants have until noon on Friday to do so, and it appears the former president will turn himself in on Thursday. Okay, Thursday, guys. His so he did, he's going to reveal, like, Thursday, that's like two or three days social media site trump said quote can you believe it i'll be going to atlanta georgia on thursday to be arrested by a radical left district attorney fonnie willis who is overseeing one of the greatest murder and violent crime disasters in american history apparently referring to the crime in fulton county no word hey bro an actual arrest on a president never never thought i'd see it guys yet when any of holding cell for donald trump i mean uh gonna be like eight hours in there pretty boring i mean if anyone else is he's probably gonna go to like his own separate holding cell away away from the gen he, he might go away from the general population because then there's like you know they, they put you in this room and there might be other people in the room that are waiting and then they all tip like a really they put you on like this this big van or at least where i live and then they transport you to this drop-off location just like uh, randomly in the city. And that's what they do when I got arrested. I'm not sure they're going to do the same for Donald Trump. I mean, he's a president, guys. Or at least he was, sorry. <clears throat> a little bit sleepy here. Let's, let's get on, though. If the other 18 defendants in the election interference case will turn themselves in, but we do know what it will cost some of them to remain free until trial. A judge set bond for Donald Trump. Yeah, I made a video like this earlier saying... Um, they're, they're not going to arrest him, but lo and behold, they're actually going to do it, guys. He's actually going to turn himself in. Trump at $200,000. Fox 5 IT reporter Randy Travis. Uh, they call it indictment. Uh, indictment. Indictment's like kind of the white collar term for arrested, I guess. Says for the former president, that may not be the hardest part of the bond agreement. <laughs> All day Monday, attorneys filed into the Fulton County Courthouse, hoping to convince DA Fonnie Willis to agree to a signature bond for their client, letting them surrender to the Fulton County Jail without having to cough up any money to be released. I don't think that... Hey, he's trying to... He's trying to get the bond... The, he's trying to get the freaking bond money waived. What the... These folks should be treated, you know... Uh... Oh, it's a little, it, he's got the Gucci glasses, guys. The Gucci glasses. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, he's got some attorneys helping him. Um, differently than anyone else. Scott Grubman represents Ken Chesborough, one of the advocates of the so-called fake elector scheme. And the idea that one of these people would flee the country is probably pretty ludicrous. Nonetheless, for the first five who arranged bond with the DA's office, all will have to pay a bond to stay out of jail. Chesbro. Hey, so a bunch of them are gonna... $1,000. Same with John Eastman. Ray Smith, $50,000. Scott Hall, one of the participants in the Coffee County election machine breach, $10,000. He also owns... Quite a bit of money, right, guys? New cars and stuff. The bonding company. The Trump bond agreement requires that he not make any direct or indirect threat against victims, co-defendants or witnesses, or the community. But it also includes a stipulation his co-defendants do not have. The above shall include, but are not limited to, posts on social media or reposts of posts made by another individual on social media. 
We will see how that plays out once Donald Trump surrenders to Fulton County authorities. Hey, bro, he's actually going to surrender. We're going to see him in handcuffs, guys. Is he going to be in a suit when it happens? Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. And Fox 5 is bringing you any new developments in this case around the clock. Be sure to have the Fox 5 News app for any breaking alerts and updates. It Are they asking to be released on signature when no one else in America will be released in this way? I know, right? Yeah, how come they get special treatment? Fox is reporting it. It's going to be hard to... It's about time someone said, which there could have been. Cut to Jesus, bro. Alright, guys. 10% cash bonus. Very common. Heal himself in. That's what some reporter made a mistake during the broadcast, but yeah. Pretty interesting, guys. Uh, see you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, everyone. They got Fox 5 Atlanta. Atlanta is going to arrest him. Atlanta. Uh, later, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all my reactions live on Twitch. Later.